terms of learning is, I think, incredible. We're actually doing all of the exams here. Uh, doing the fast exam, looking at lungs, looking at the heart. That we can really refine our skills a lot more and so that we don't just feel like we just saw it, but we feel like we really did it in detail. My name is Dr. Amish Shah. I am a pediatric gastroenterologist and the site director for medical student education. Hi, this is Dr. Rodney Villanueva. I am the psychiatry clerkship director here at Atrium Health Behavioral Health Charlotte. I'm Jay Patel, the Clerkship Director for Family Medicine at Atrium Health. Hi, I'm Kathy Wares. I'm from the Department of Emergency Medicine. I am the EM Clerkship Director here, and I also run our simulation curriculum. Hi, I'm Dr. Lorreen Timming. I'm a maternal fetal medicine physician here at Atrium Health, and I'm the Director of the Third Year Clerkship in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Hi, I'm Nicholas Young, Internal Medicine. Hi, folks, this is Gaurav Sachdev. I'm the Surgery Clerkship Director in Charlotte, North Carolina. My name's Iris Chang, and I'm the Director of the Ambulatory Internal Medicine Clerkship, as well as being the Director of the Interprofessional Education Program here in the Charlotte campus. For the student, they get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention, both from the faculty as well as our student services staff. Within the community, we can actually make their um, rotation schedules align more with their career goals. The patients are probably the best teachers we have. Um, they come from all walks of life and they all come with illnesses, but really the desire to help in enhance your learning. Um, the attendings provide excellent one-on-one -on -one training. There's free food, there's free parking, you get sodas, it's a great place to be. You get a lot of autonomy. Our students tell us it's one of the few places that not only can they see undifferentiated patients, which is great for your learning, but they also get a lot of autonomy with heavy supervision. So they feel like they have ownership of the patients. One of the best things that the students can look forward to at Atrium Health is being part of the team, helping out, not being a wallflower and observing, but putting on a pair of gloves and actually getting into the action. We do get a lot of surgery. Um, OR time, a lot of time one-on-one -on -one -on -one with the attendings when we are in the OR. What I've got out of it is that, you know, I know in, when in the future, even if I'm not in a surgery um, uh, specialty, when I'm referring patients, I know what they're going to go through. We deliver about 7,000 babies a year here, and our students are actively involved on labor and delivery, and they're always so excited after uh, delivering the first baby. I think that's the, the best part. I have a few friends at other medical schools and uh, you know I told them if I talked to them about maybe working with an attending one-on-one -on -one, which is happens frequently here which is really cool. You know medicine has multiple facets uh, sometimes we can cure things and fix problems and a lot of times we can't we just try to manage problems as best we can and to prioritize what's most important and I think that's one of the things that that draws some people to internal medicine is learning how to manage and do the best even in a situation that you can't fix. We're talking about uh, medications, receptors, we're talking about the brain in general. So this is a really exciting time. So psychiatry rocks because we are unlocking the neurobiology of the brain and how it relates to mental health. Our purpose is to improve health, to elevate hope, and to advance healing for all. Um, and our students really embody that. Hi. I'm Dr. Mary Hall, Senior Vice President for Medical Education in Charlotte. We are so excited to meet you, and we are absolutely wake ready.